Hey guys, uh, it's time for an update on Sailaway development again and show you what I've been doing for the past few weeks. Uh, so first I had to uh, uh, adjust the boat designer to the new sails. Well, I say new sails, they aren't really new, but I made a lot of adjustments on them uh, to make uh, sure they work with the trim lines. And so they are attached on a different in a different way on the boat. And uh, th therefore I had to uh, redo part of that. Um, I already showed that in an earlier version how the sail designer works, I think. So you can check that out. Um, and I'll show you what I've also been doing. Let's um, added uh, hardware to the, to the boats. So here's the boat designer. Uh, don't pay too much attention to this gaff here. That won't be in the, in the ultimate uh, boat design. This was just here for testing because I wanted to test it with a gaff rig. Um, so, uh, hardware designer, and uh, you can see here a list of the hardware that I've already added. So, for instance, this nice compass or uh, a nice flagpole. See, and here you can also see immediately what goes wrong because um, you have to make sure that when you make a boat design. When you design a boat, a 3D model, um, make it bare, as bare as possible. No sails, no fittings, uh, no stays, and uh, also no flagpoles like this, because there's a much better looking flagpole in the uh, hardware library of Sailaway. So I have to uh, remove these from the original mesh. Um, and I'm going to show you how the hardware designer works by adding this to the boat. So let's add a rail for the um, for the main sheet, and uh, everything gets attached to it. First, we'll add a rail. There's a library of all sorts of hardware here underneath. There are uh, more than 250 items in it right now, and it's still growing. So this is going to be really uh, full of nice assets. First of all, we need a rail. We'll add a nice brass one, like this. There it is. And we have to place it somewhere down there. Let's see where it is now. Let's rotate it 90 degrees like this. And make sure he's centered somewhat. Um, something like this. Maybe a bit more now. Like this. Right? So now I have to bend it because uh, it used to be uh, a bent uh, traveler here. And I'm going to bend it a little bit, not too much. I, I can do it like this to uh, match the line of the boat, but that would be a stupid thing to do. So uh, just a little bit of a bend. Then I'm going to show you that the uh, the deck itself also has a curve because if I lower it further you can see that it disappears in the middle while at the edges it still sticks out so what I have to do is also bend it up a little bit like this just a little bit and there it is and now I need to save it but my ugly face is Ah, there I can move myself <laughs> you have to do with me in the back or in the bottom corner now so save and then I will add a car to it mm, where is it rails 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 yeah rails the car brass one there it is attach it to the rail and there's our little car. So now I want to uh, add um, 
a block to it. Nice block. Um, classic block. Uh, four sheaves. There's our block. And let's attach it to the uh, to the car. And now you see what's going wrong also. Because my block it is attached to the car, but since there's no since there's no line pulling it in any direction, it just hangs down. But hanging down means that it's below the deck here. See? So uh, this is just one of the things that I still have to fix and, and some of the things you you run into when you build these. And uh, sometimes it can be a lot of uh, work, a lot of pain. But uh, let's see how well. Oh, I managed this one just discovered it just before I recorded this video so uh, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do about that uh, let's save it and um, yeah I'm working on the trim lines now uh, so yes a few lines show you uh, that I've been added they're just yeah <laughs> test lines they go from here to there and uh, there's no hardware that runs where they run through yet, but uh, you can change them. Oh, it's this one. I'll show you. Let's see. I can change the diameter already, and I can change the material like this, or this, or nylon, or Tanima or steel, see? So that's uh, where I am now. And uh, I have to make uh, uh, a selector here where you can select all the hardware that you just added to make the line run through nicely. So let's save this. And then there's a third one here that's added surfaces because I've added some surfaces. Check this out. So, to prevent your lines from piercing through the deck, like you just saw with the uh, with the block, you can add surfaces, and these surfaces the uh, they will prevent the line from piercing through. So it will just uh, tangle here on this bench. Now that I've placed a surface on them, you have to be a bit careful by uh, adding these uh, because they. Uh, are quite costly but uh, they're also necessary so uh, yeah, you'll just have to do and you may think why am not I not using the normal collider that I added to the boat uh, that's because it's not precise enough often and uh, yeah and this also works a lot faster it's also so a lot slower uh, this works faster so you have to place these uh, surfaces everywhere where the line uh, may pierce through the deck and uh, to prevent that so uh, yeah that's it i think and uh, i will uh, leave you to it and go back to work make sure the lines work and that the that block <laughs> sticks upright instead of uh, hanging through the deck and uh, i'll report back when i have something to show you again Bye everyone.